We got people in here already. Let's go. Let's start the song. Derp, derp. Pretty on time today. Got some things. We got some things to chat about. Also, we might have a poll or something on what we're gonna play because I want to play Space Marines because it's shorter and we need to play that before the one comes out, which they announced was winter. But we should watch the new trailer they did. What's up, everyone? Step, good little homage. <clears throat> it is a new shirt. We'll talk about it. Kirby Puckett. If you guys follow baseball or the twins or whatever. Yeah, I know. On time today. There were no uh there were no technical difficulties. Yeah, that dude. Welcome by the way. It was quite emotional. Smackdown today. Yeah, everybody's been saying to play the Texas Chainsaw Massacre game, so I think as the BRE, we're trying to see what we can do about that. Yeah, welcome Bryce, welcome Earl, welcome everybody that's brand new! So, the derp song is our song for now. I still don't have anything back about the guy animating my intro screen. Um, Smackdown was emotional. I, as emotional as it was for you guys, I can honestly say, I don't know. I'll get into it. I'll get into the. I'll get into the whole into that stuff. But um, yeah, we'll uh, we'll restart the song. Get everybody in here. But yeah, I needed to do this too to kind of decompress. Uh, it was a weird night. Um. The opener was awesome. Yeah, I didn't, um, it was hard for, uh, the priority on the last minute travel had to be given to, you know, the people that were more involved with him, but. <laughs> Yeah, that's all right, Tom. Draw. Do whatever you need while we stream. We're like a radio show. Um, but just so you guys know, the ad's coming up. If you're new in here, the subs don't have to see the ad breaks. So I'm just letting you know about that throughout the stream. I have to show ads. I, I'm sorry. I hate it. Uh, back in the old days, I only showed ads when I had to use the toilet. But as it stands now, I gotta show them. So if you don't want to see them, give a little sub, connect it to your Hello, Prime, man. whatever. Um, welcome to the new R subscribers. Welcome to everyone resubbing. Uh, yeah, 68. It was emotional. Hello there. Oh, nice. Watching a 40K lore video. That should put you right in the mood for a little bit of... Uh, Space Marine tonight. I know if you guys watched us. What's up, Ty Five? Yeah, man. I I um I was on my way. I was driving on my way to uh teach grappling in the car when I got the news, and uh, it was hard. It was hard. Uh, I I I don't know. This is kind of weird. Like. I don't mean to, like, diminish anyone's, uh, like, feelings or whatever about anyone in the business. It's always hard when someone in this business, um, passes. But this was the first time it, that it was someone that I was, like, I'd consider myself, like, I'd, I talked to, I talked to Bray. I texted him sometimes. He was one of the first superstars that, uh, was, like, a friend to me, so... Uh, it was, it, it hit me a little bit different than the others, I think. Um, but, um, yeah, this is a, this is a funny thing to say now, but.
But this is what I want to say about Bray that I would not like. I'm not a big like so put your put your BS on social media. I I made a little post a little bit saying it, but I'll never forget that you know we're all fighting in the UFC and whatnot. And if any of you guys have been following along for a while, uh, Ronda and me and the four of us. We've been attending WWE events as fans, like, before we started wrestling, while we were fighting. We would go to shows, and we would sit front row if we could, or at least as close as we could get. And um, I'll never forget, after he would wrestle, and the cameras would shut off, he would come over to me and hug me. And not. And I know, this isn't, this isn't me, like, um, I don't know, take it how you want, if you want to use this to twist some BS, then you're a cruddy person. I'm just trying to tell a story about a great dude. But he, uh, at a time where Ronda was the star, Ronda was the UFC champion, and she was the one that was getting the attention, he always made sure to come to me and tell me that he knew I was the wrestler. And, you know, you're the one, and stuff like that. So I I'll never forget that. Uh, but yeah. He was a great dude. But, um, somberness aside, uh, uh, I do not know, I don't believe as of right now that I'm set to be on the Sunday show in Huntsville. Uh, but I know I'll be back there. We're there all the time. Yeah, he was a great dude. He was a great, great dude. You're not going to meet anyone that had uh, anything bad to say about him. But, yeah. So, anyone, first time in the chat. We normally don't talk too much about my job. Uh, we touch on it a little bit. We keep it kind of general, usually. But I think, obviously, it's uh, extraneous circumstances today. Um, but, you know what? A little, a little apple juice. A little apple juice for Bray, yeah? Can I get banned for having apple juice? Just a little. Just a little toasty. Apple juice. Um, but, so guys, um, the thumb, so I got cleared to not have to wear this unless, uh, it's gonna get hit. So, like, I still have to wear it when I wrestle for a week or two. Um, I still have to, um... Uh, like, I don't know, when I'm, if I'm gonna go one wheel, I suppose, in case I fall off, but yeah, I, uh, I still have to wear it, I can, I'm, I'm supposed to use it, I'm supposed to use a rubber brand, rubber band to, like, exercise my hand and get it used to, uh, all that, and get it strong again. It's achy, I won't lie, but it doesn't, you guys remember when I would always complain about my thumb from painting? When all along it was broken. Um, so here's what we got today, too. Oh, by the way, the shirt. It's Kirby Puckett shirt. I said I would talk about it. So, I, I, you guys know for my birthday, I went to go see the Vikings. And I love the Vikings. If you guys have known me for a while, I'm a huge Minnesota Vikings fan. Um... My hometown that I grew up in, Sioux Falls, is like an hour from the Minnesota border. There's no South Dakota pro, major pro teams. Uh, we have like the Sioux Falls Stampede hockey team and the Sioux Falls Storm, which is like this unbeatable arena football team. We have the Sioux Falls Canaries, our baseball team. But um, yeah, so as far as pro stuff, uh, I'm a Minnesota sports fan, especially the Vikings. But... Um, the the Minnesota Twins noticed the Viking social posts and how awesome I was, obviously. And so they got in contact with people to get in contact with me to send some swag. So one of the things I got was this sweet, like, real soft tee Kirby Puckett shirt. And for those of you that don't know baseball or the Twins or whatever, Kirby Puckett is this legend. Um, one of the, probably the most legendary Minnesota Twin in, and in, in at least modern history, but, uh, 
<laughs> Rushmore. That would have been, yeah, 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 maybe. You missed opportunity. There, we had the, uh, the Sioux Falls, the Sioux Falls posse was the football, a uh, different, like, a. they weren't pro, what were they? They were, like, semi-pro football team. Um... There is a rivalry between North and South Dakota. However, the Dakotas will unite against Iowa. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I actually don't know if I could throw a pitch yet. For sure it would hurt to throw a football, I, I would think. But I also got... Uh, here, I'll show you some stuff. Since I wear caps... Actually, you can't see it because it's all black. Can you tell? That's a, this is a Vikings hat, actually. But I got this... Twins hat. For people that don't know, Twins, Minneapolis, St. Paul, the Twin Cities. Uh, that's why they're called the Twins. And the best part, guys, I got a couple hoodies or whatever, but this is the best. I got a Twins baseball jersey with my name on it. This is cool. This is cool. So, I tried to, I made a post on my Instagram. I tried to find the We're Gonna Win Twins song, uh, but it wasn't on there. Oh, John, happy birthday. Uh, I mean, yeah, who's not a Prince fan, Thomas? <clears throat> Yeah, so I guess uh I guess uh Iowa doesn't hate the Dakotas. I think there is a little rivalry. Maybe not uh the eastern side of Iowa. At least like the western side with like Sioux City and that. Cause I don't think we really have issue with, with the eastern side either. Although it's all in good fun because we're all the Midwest, right? <clears throat> ah, Jackie, welcome. Uh, let me see. Let me look at I write things down that I want to talk about. Uh, let's see. Uh, we talked about that. We talked about the twins. Oh, I have to... <laughs> uh, the mods are going to have their work cut out for them maybe tonight. So I have to give you an update on the stalker situation. Uh, still around, but I'm going to let you know that if... So, like, here's what happens. When I stream or when I... I'm on TV or something, and you guys post stuff, and I repost it. I'll be honest with you. I, most of the time, don't really pay attention to who it is. If it's a cool clip, if it's a cool picture or something, I'll post it. Sometimes I don't have time. I'm, like, in the middle of doing something, you know, and you just scroll, and I just, whatever. So it's not like I, I play, I, I'm not, like, f playing favorites or whatever, but this dude has now gone on to, like, taking screenshots of my story and then writing terrible crap about whoever that person is that I tag. So I bring this up because I apologize for crazy people. Um, not, not much else I can do. We just got to block him and move on. Uh, but if you get caught up in all that, um, yeah, don't, don't, don't try to message me about it. I already know, uh, he gets blocked all the time and, uh, yeah. Very, very unhinged. Um, and he writes, like, terrible stuff. The, the most terrible thing you can think of, he'll write about that person. Um, so if you post something cool and I retweet you and the, a crazy guy tags you or something, sorry, it's not my fault. I have nothing to do with it. Honestly, like, the, poor, the dude got scammed. I tried to tell him. Now he's off the rails and he's unhinged. And so it, it, I only bring it up because whatever, I'm... We kind of get that stuff a little bit all the time, but I just hate that he drags everyone else into it, and I don't want anyone to, like, stop interacting with me uh, because that guy. So, just just putting it out there. Um, yeah, report him if you can. He's toxic. He's unhinged, but mainly just block him. I don't even know uh, if reporting does much, to be honest. Uh... Yeah, wrestling historian, he's very similar situation. Um, yes, that that's what happened to Seth. 
but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, dragged my mods know about him. Um if he if he shows up uh whatever, just ignore him. He gets blocked. It's it's I mean, I was I've been blocking people still. Darth Hoods. <laughs> Uh, I think you can still block on Twitter, but, um, I mean, David, I've only been, I, well, I, I was back in the ring, like the, the raw after SummerSlam <laughs> with a broken thumb and a cast on and a hyperextended elbow and an eye swollen shut. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. And so here's the thing. Yeah, I said that last stream, guys. If there's no block on Twitter, the day that that Twitter takes the block away, I'm done using it. I'm on threads. I don't really... I just use Twitter as a, a billboard for, like, what's going on. Like, to let you guys know I got a stream starting or whatever, but... All social media is a poop hole, so I don't read it very often. So sorry if I don't see your comments sometimes. I just don't spend a lot of time on it. It's toxic. Von Doom's in here for once. Um, we are probably going to play Space Marine because uh, Space Marine 2 is announced to be coming out in uh, the winter. But bigger news than that. I know uh, if you guys tuned in on Wednesday night, we had a BRE stream, a surprise stream. Um, and... Uh, <laughs> yeah, the YouTube channel. Um, but uh, I did. Uh, Jay Duke talked me into getting Starfield, so I pre-ordered Starfield. So what that means is Star Starfield. Oh, what's it say? Speaking of the twins, when they were still at the Metrodome, uh, when I was playing, when I was playing town team baseball, we had two teams that got to play an exhibition game after Twins Mariners. Oh, dang. You got to play in the Metrodome. <clears throat> um, yeah, so I'm, I, I did a whole bunch of reading about it, and you guys should know by now, I love, uh, sci-fi. So, I, uh, Starfield set to, to, to come out September 6th. But if you got, if you pre-order it, then you get it up to five days early. There was an asterisk that was like, if it's not ready, or this is, uh, you know, subject, card subject to change. <laughs> but, um, basically, uh, that could mean possibly the next stream will be, uh, Starfield. So, I know I said on Wednesday, by the way, everyone claps in the chat we'll have to get a clap uh emote but von doom got his promotion by the way and he's a mod so everyone's got to congratulate him what's up sammy welcome uh yeah i, I, ju I just i just pre-ordered it literally today uh so <laughs> owes you a PlayStation 5. Uh, so, I know I said I was going to play... We were going to start um, a Cyberpunk again, even though I've played it through twice. Uh, I've played Space Marine twice also, but it's a short game. Um, but I want to just play the Space Marine for now, get us in the sci-fi space mood uh, for when Starfield comes out. I might be so excited that if it comes out on a weird day, I'll try to stream it on the weird day. So just follow on all the socials, and I'll be letting you guys know if I'm streaming, all right? Yeah. You're not going to play Starfield? <laughs> um, Johnny, the left-right, left-right championship that is rightfully mine? Can't have a cheese champion right now? Uh, Bryce, are you talking about, I mean, I have a Palpatine hologram there. 
I have a Palpatine statue right there. I haven't, Thomas, I haven't been able to paint um, in like a couple weeks because my thumb's been in a cast and broken. And uh, honestly, um, I just was able like the past couple days to take it off. And I haven't, uh, I haven't really tried to paint just yet, but, um, so I've been talking about it for a while. So I did get this and this is not a fancy one. This is a crappy, like $50 airbrush. Okay. But it's a two stage, whatever airbrush. I didn't want to spend a lot of money on an expensive airbrush when I don't know if I'm really going to like it. Uh, also when I don't know how to use it properly. So, um, I got a cheap one to learn at least to prime. I figure it's Hello better there. than spray prime. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I'm going to try to get the feel of, uh, of airbrushing and then see what happens. If I like it, I'll, 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 I'll upgrade. You know what I mean? If I don't, I was only out 50 bucks. Um, but, uh, I did also, I've been watching videos and so I got a, a Star Wars coloring book because they say to practice in a coloring book. So you get the, you get the feel of like, um, like the, how the, how it, how it sprays. Bryce, I have a ton, I have a few lightsabers, quite a few actually. Uh, but yeah, we're going to get new emotes. Um, once I get the intro video and the outro video or like the screens, they should be almost done. I was, I was, this guy's been doing great. He's been sending me stuff. Yeah, do this, change this. And he's been great about it. Um, he, uh, once I get that done, we're going to set up the discord. We're going to have subscription tiers. We're going to have more emotes. Uh, it's going to be good. All right. We're, we're, we're slowly, uh, making the channel be awesome. Uh, so no, I was just explaining, Sammy, I'm not going to play Cyberpunk today. I uh I am going to be playing Space Marine, but actually you guys want to watch the you guys want to watch something for Space Marine 2? They just released the gameplay clip. Let me see. This one maybe? Yeah, Charlie's been... Alright, he's been sending Charlie stuff. Charlie's the one taking care of it. Yes, Charlie, we've already been over how you're the creative one that's taking care of the artwork. She's just a glory hog, and then she ignores me when I'm in her chat. Look at how epic it is! Look at it, it's Tyranid Invasion. We gotta watch again. It's real short. I wasn't paying attention because Charlie had to come in and be a glory hog. But the Tyranids look awesome. And if you guys don't know, in the in the Warhammer universe, Tyranids are your kind of typical uh, alien looking aliens. <laughs> the same sort of system where you get life back. Oh, shields, I guess. With the melee kills. Look at how many there are! What's crazy to me is this game engine rendering all those Tyranids like that. Look at that! It's crazy, it looks so good. But yeah, so we're stoked for uh, Space Marine 2 because we love Warhammer. When I say we, I mean me. Uh, Kind of like Starship Troopers, a little bit, with the Tyranids. Yes, and Space Marine 2 is going to be co-op, so everyone tell Charlie she's got to play co-op Space Marine with me. And everyone go follow her Twitch, and when she streams, bring up how you really, 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 really hope 
that she co op Space Marine 2 with me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Smurfs are not my favorite, but if you have to play them to play the game, it's cool. It's cool. <laughs> Yeah, we can watch, we can watch, do you guys want to watch the longer one? I just picked the short one so we can get back to, we can get to gaming on our own. But, uh, yeah, orcs are cool. Uh, Jay Duke is an orc player. <clears throat> there, tie five and spawned. Everyone's, everyone, the mods put Charlie's, uh, channel in there so go give her a follow and then blow her up to play space marine co-op with me charlie knows a thing or two actually news i taught charlie how to play her first game of magic the gathering with the 40k commander decks and actually she beat me that jerk first time ever playing Uh, Sammy, probably not five hours. Usually on Fridays, we just go a couple hours. She seemed to have fun. Uh, she was a little overwhelmed at first, as happens, but... Unrecorded. Yeah, so she picked uh, Chaos. So the commander decks, there's four commander decks with Magic the Gathering, uh, Warhammer. Chaos, the Imperium, Tyranids, and Necrons. And I let her pick whatever deck first. She picked Chaos, which would have been my first pick. But, uh... So I picked the Imperium, thinking obviously there were probably two decks meant to play against each other. And they were. They were pretty evenly well-matched, but... Yeah, she played this card. I had like three life, three life left, and she played a card that was like immediately takes three life from you, and that was it. That was all. She had this this uh, demon deck that's like that it was crazy, getting too powerful, and I waited too long to use exterminatus and kill everything on the battlefield. And uh, yeah, actually, Thomas, magic could be the Bre's Uno. That would be awesome. But, yeah, hopefully. And Charlie spawned. Charlie has a couple times talked about picking up the uh, Lord of the Rings um, Magic the Gathering. Commander decks, at least. And, to be fair, Commander is a little bit overwhelming with just two people. Commander's uh, meant for... Ah, thank you, Adam. But Commander is meant for, like, multiple players. But at least she's learning and and all that. But she, yeah. 30,000. <laughs> Anarcho Kennedy, Post Malone paid like 2.6 million for the one of one, one ring foil special card. Uh, Ali, uh, BRE streams are always around, but if you follow Up, Up, Down, Down's YouTube channel, we're always making content for them. Um, we should have some Grounded episodes coming out. I like a little bit of classic rock. <laughs> Card belongs in a volcano. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's actually video of, uh, let me see here. Post Malone. Wait, the ad. Watch live sports yeah, with no yeah. hidden fees or long-term contracts. So this video was posted two days ago by Brooke Trafton, and my boy could barely hold it together. My dude, boy's he's shaking. shaking like a drum set, dude. He could barely yeah. hold it together, and, and he found the one ring. Language. The one it's not ring Elvish, to rule guys. them all. I made that it's mistake. an Elvin, bro. That's how no, legit it's not. this is. Charlie it's, corrected me. <laughs> it's not even in English, but there is only one of those cards, ladies and gentlemen. There's only one. Sammy, and I'm going to be playing Space Marine. Ago. I said. Now we have another video being posted that Post Malone has purchased the card, the one ring. He's a huge and Magic apparently, the Gathering. 
guy. Brooke Taf- Trafton thought of Post Malone first to, I don't know if sell it to or approach or, or what, yeah, but he's Post a, Malone. He's a, he's a big Magic the Gathering guy, and he paid the uh, like $2.6 million. Apparently, the, this guy, because cause like when, when, when they announced that there was this one of one special one ring, there were people putting bounties. Oh, well, excuse me, Charlie. But uh, apparently, yeah, they're, they're, immediately when the set was announced, people were making bounties. Companies were just like, we'll give you a million dollars, whatever. But this guy found Post Malone first. But. <laughs> Imagine playing with that card. Yeah, if you guys remember back in the day, me and Duke and the War Master, we were all really into we we would get together like once a week and play have Magic the Gathering nights at at Josh's house. Uh the, we had a group of people, but Yeah. All right. You guys want to you guys want to play some Space Marine or at least check it out? Because next time, it's probably going to be Starfield. I'm probably... Just so you guys know, because the Cyberpunk DLC is coming out, like, really soon as well. So I'm probably going to start a Cyberpunk campaign and have it on Steam Deck. Because I doubt Starfield's going to play on Steam Deck. Is it? I doubt it. But once I figure out how to delete Diablo off my Steam Deck and make room... I'm going to put Cyberpunk on there, so I'll probably be playing that on the road and then be playing Starfield here at home. Um, but yeah. Yeah, man, I used to be a big Halo player back in the day. <sighs> All right. Should we start this up? I might have to move. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Sure. I might have to move. Yeah, I don't think it is either. No, there's too much stuff coming out to go back to Diablo. Once this game launches... There's, 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 uh, Starfield obviously is next. We got the Cyberpunk DLC coming out. We got Space Marine 2 coming out. Um, too much going on. Yeah, so. Sega. Jeez. Funny enough. Here, I'll turn that down for you guys. Funny enough, um, when I first got my Steam Deck, this was uh, the first game that I played. Here, let's go in the options and turn down the main master volume a little bit. Criminy. There. Oh, why is it showing up like that on the... Hang on, hang on. For some reason... Why is it showing up like that? Why can I not... Hang on, I gotta... Hang on, hang on, hang on. I need to get to windowed, where are we at, gameplay, video options. Oops. Where can I get to windowed? I can't even, I can't even, um, I can't even, it won't even let me, like, get my mouse off of the, like, usually all my stuff is, uh, full screen windowed. Charlie Vision. Yeah, I think it is an OBS thing, but I can't get off of the... Hang on. 
Why was it... Okay, here's the other thing. Why was it working? What in the world? So it works right now, right? Why was it stuck up there? Yeah, I had a Windows key, but it wasn't taking it off of the, uh, the game. And I didn't have an option in-game. Sabertooth lurking. Uh... No, I didn't choose. I've not loaded the game up. But the Windows key wasn't working. Let me see if I can redo this. I'm gonna see if I can figure it out. Hang on. This game- the game still holds up, though. Uh, let's see. Yeah, with the way- With the way there's, like, tech issues all the time, um... I tell people that are, like, interested in starting streaming, like, I'll have people that are like, Hey, man! Why is it like that? Aspect ratio. Oh. Here, let's see about this. Is that? No. What in the world is going on? <laughs> yeah, I did. I got on the I got on the stream and I was like, "Well, I haven't had any tech issues today." It's not the resolution, bro. It's OBS. So, I don't I, so when I click on the The game is being real wonky. Um, let me see if it's doing it. Let's just let's just check something out here. Let's just check something out here. Yeah, I went to settings and then video and then video. None of that's working. I have to go to OBS. And I can't go to OBS because when the game's running, it's not in windowed like it usually is. So I can't get the mouse off of the game. Uh, but I'm going to try... Let's see what happens with this. I'm just opening Cyberpunk to see if it plays. We're going to try a couple things. Well, I tell people that are interested in streaming that they have to be okay with technical difficulties. Well, even this is being weird. Where is my mouse now? This is so weird. I did this earlier and um And this played. This is all on high. Yeah, windowed borderless. So this works.
Let me see. See, this this is set up fine. And I hit Windows. I can go over to OBS. I can use this and change things around. I don't know. Let's go back and see. Let's go back and see. Whack it. <laughs> uh, so it works on another game. So it's not the computer. It's the OBS. Warhammer's old also. It doesn't... It's Space Marine's like a 13-year-old game. It doesn't have that resolution. But it should be fine because it's full screen on my... Like... It's it's full screen on my screen. So it's OBS. So the issue isn't even the settings on here. It's for some reason showing up on OBS. Weird. Why is that? <laughs> yeah, see? Like... And when I hit Windows, it doesn't work. It's not working to hit Windows. I Alt-Tab and it Alt-Tabs out. And I can't see, so that's not what I need either. So I don't know why it's doing that. Is it Anniversary Edition? It is. It is OBS. Yeah, it's Zinch. It's not the aspect ratio. It's not the game. It's not the game. It won't let me change the graphics unless I change the aspect ratio. Well, that's better. There. Hey, that's it. But it still doesn't make sense why I don't have a windowed option, but maybe it just doesn't have that. Until three skulls are visible? Can't see the third skull. I guess we're gonna have a dark game. Can you guys see it? Oh, you guys can- I can see it on the OBS screen, but I can't see it on my screen very well. Alright. Alright! Okay, let's go. I might have to move my head still, which is going to be a problem. But, yeah. Okay, let's just let's just do it. Let's just do it. Let's go. New campaign. Normal. Sure. We've beaten the game a few times. Get out get out of here. A Xenos invasion. So, you guys, Warhammer has the best lore of pretty much any universe. Yeah, ask away, Anarcho. How's the volume? It's okay for you guys? What's up, Ashley? Is it loud? Whoops. Ooh, exterminatus! 
Yeah, it's okay. All right. Warhammer is one of the best. Uh, Anarcho, yes. They 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 eat stuff called Nutra paste or something like that. Escalate area denial. Affirmative. Oh, they're they're requesting the ultramarines. Who are, by the way, kinda the most boring of the space marines, I'm just saying, but all the stories and stuff are about them, but. The Jar Jar of Warhammer? <laughs> um In the grim darkness of the far future, I'm not sure there is a Jar Jar. The Emperor of Mankind, Miter? Ultra Smurfs. Look at how good this looks, you guys. This game is like... Oh, Gilliman did come back. Rabute Gilliman did come back. <laughs> Lorgar is nothing like Jar Jar. <laughs> but he is... Look how young he looks compared to all the trailers I've been watching for Space Marine 2. Captain Titan, the orcs have massacred the Forge World's forces. They're very effective. And they have taken the planetary defense weapon. The Ultramarines are very effective. Clever of the damned orcs. Clever of the damned orcs. Oh, look at his cool scar over his eye. I always think that scar is cool. Not this game. For Warhammer Darktide. Uh, Tide 5, I bought this new rig for Warhammer Darktide. Yeah, so... That's a good point, Anarcho. There's about 200 years in between this game and Space Marine 2. But Space Marines live, like, forever. Sort of. The Primarchs are all dead or missing, except for Rabute came back, and so did Lionel Johnson, but... <laughs> they did! Rabute literally wrote the book to go by the book. I love talking Warhammer lore. So, for anyone... So, for anyone that's uh, new in here... The game is sometimes slow going because I stop to chat a lot. Space Marines are genetically modified humans. Genetically and surgically modified. And uh, Dreadnoughts are basically keeping the guys that died alive. Oh, reload! How do I reload? I forgot all the controls! Ow! to stun an opponent. Oh. Oh, that's so cool! That's how you get life. Do I have a chainsword yet? Alright, let me look at the controls. Yeah, yeah, grenade, yeah, weapon swap, d-pad, uh, movement, sprint. All right, so we have melee, stun, use, evade, that's jump, fire, reload. Oh, that's weird. No wonder. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Yes, they, these guys predate Doom. In fact... 
In fact, here's something you might not know. Um, games like StarCraft and uh, even, dare I say it, World of Warcraft, all inspired by uh, Warhammer. So good. I hate the reload being that button, but whatever. I can remap it later. After I get used to this, you know what I mean? Oh. So you get life back. So in the new one, you don't get life back, you get your shield back. Why am I hitting that? Ah, I keep hitting I keep hitting the reload as that that melee button. If the orcs could just get along with each other, they'd probably take over the universe. They only like war. They're... They just... They, they can't get along. Whoa! Look at the war boss! Yeah, this game is old and it looks great, right? Disable the orc ship. Yeah, this game is like 2011. The orcs lore is awesome. Also, I when I went to Warhammer World uh, in Nottingham, the orc dioramas are so cool. Like their stuff is 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 crazy. Yeah, and if they could get along, I like Ed Arco being in here because he knows a lot more in depthly about the lore than me. The gameplay, the gameplay for being like. 14 years old is awesome, right? The graphics and stuff. It's it is it is it is kind of Gears of War-ish in gameplay style. Whoa! To the wrong dude. It's a good way to stay alive, keep doing those execution kills, right? What do I gotta do? Rotate the turret.
Is it remastered? It wouldn't surprise me, but this looks good. So I am going broke trying to collect the 30k Primarchs. I told you guys about my project, right? Yeah, what's up? Chaos Cloud is here. That's my buddy Steve. Uh, they do wear helmets sometimes. Yeah, so, uh, can't see. Let me see if I can, let me see if I can do this. It's gonna mess everything up. But I don't know if you guys can see up here. Uh, can you guys see up there? It's not very, I'm trying to turn the light on. It seems to shine up there. But up on those top shelves, I have, um, how many? How many? Did I mess it up now? Is it good? Okay, it's good. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have eight of the Primarchs, plus I have Horus Ascended, because my project is, um, I am, uh, uh, gonna try, when I make my gear after the Primarchs, I am trying to make like a shadow box where I paint the Primark and then put a picture of me wrestling in that Primark's inspired gear and then like a piece of the gear. And I want to make all these like shadow boxes. However, the problem is A, very expensive. I don't even have half of them yet. Um, plus, if I really want to get crazy, I'd want to get like, there's characters like Angren, for example, that have a 30k model before he turned into... A demon of corn. Um, so I'd want to get them both. But also I'm not that great at painting that it's not, it's like if I'm going to spend all this money on these expensive models to put together and paint, I don't feel worthy enough to paint them yet. So I haven't really started yet. So I'm painting other stuff. Uh, um to like get practice I guess but also I have to learn how to use that airbrush I think so I don't know <clears throat> oh I love telltale games we should play those except it's hard because those have a timer so we can't really discuss a lot I like to interact with the chat so much um But it is a thing, I will say this, and anyone in the chat that's into painting models can attest to this. You do get a collection of boxes of models that you have yet to paint. I see it on every, like, painter's, uh, creator's channel. Uh, so I'm not, I'm not, um, I'm not an anomaly. I'm not an anomaly. I, I do have that Battletech box, Von Doom, that you got me, though. So, yes, the pile of shame. It's it's very, very common. All right. Captain Titus, come in. Damned orcs shot me off course. Uh -oh. I've had no word from Leandros, but I'm picking up box chatter from Imperial Guard forces on the ground. I scarcely thought that he would be left alive, much less still fighting. Heading towards the front lines now. I oh, it gave me, it gives me Xbox uh, prompts. What's up, Raven? Yeah, paradox. I get that too. I just want to. I just want to make it so that I can, like, I my, like, I can. I think I paint pretty decent to get a an army table ready. Like, I can do some edge highlighting. Uh, my, I can keep stuff in the lines. But as far as like blending you know what i mean like uh highlights on on like the round parts or like um wet blending uh different colors of like a glow like a plasma 
rifle, let's say. Like, I'm just not good at, the, at like, the other stuff. And I want to get good at that stuff because the, the Primark models are so detailed. We'll meet you there. Look at that, you guys. Look at how good that looks. So, this game is all about the orcs, right? Yeah, I just kind of got good with... I just kind of got good with dry brushing, or I mean, not good, but I'm I'm just kind of like learning to get get uh, dependent enough on dry brushing. <clears throat> I do. I am getting into some Necron lore that I I kind of like in the Necrons. <laughs> the worst gamer has the uh, Sprue collection. Yeah, I have, like, I have a whole, like, Sisters of Battle thing. I have some Chaos Demons. I have a, uh, I actually have a, um, Ezekiel Abaddon that I got from Warhammer World. They let us pick out, like, a thing that we wanted, and that was what I picked. I don't know why. I'm not good enough, like I said. I, I can't justify this stuff, but I do want to get this stuff, because in the back of my mind, I feel like the 30k... <sighs> You guys know, you guys that are into this know how, um, uh, like, how it goes. Like, you, where, where is that coming from? Like, I feel like Forge World Games Workshop, they all, they, they make it, like, demand enough enough just enough of a demand that it could run out and then you won't get them and i want to make sure i have the primarchs for my collection because in my mind you know someday i'll be able to i don't want to go that way yet there's stuff over here someday i want to be able to complete the project and i know that i could effectively like pay for um oh can, do, i want to listen to it how do i listen to it uh workers oh workers assemble <sighs> caleb there you are the shining brothers are saying we're under attack brothers are idiots lilith they're it's sucking every discussion. scent out of us here <laughs> Brothers are idiots. Did I pick Personal this one up? Message cache lies with Thomas Alexander. Must be winning back home. Most know here, that's for certain. We've been diverted to a forge world under orc attack. The defenders are all dead. The orcs are killing everyone on the planet. And we're the only Imperial Guard in the sector. Fleet's on the way, but they're a couple of weeks out. We're in for a hard fight. Uh oh. That's where we come in. All right dead imperial guard by the way i was you, you got to think that imperial guardsmen in this universe are badass too especially ones that are around for a while space marines are like seven foot tall genetically enhanced you know against all these like orcs and aliens and chaos demons and magic in the universe and stuff and they're just humans imperial guards just humans so in order to last like they have to be pretty badass The bolter. Continue. Use that to change weapons. So this, and then bolter. Alright. This way, boys. I'm gonna kill you. Oops. I still keep hitting that to reload. Most games, so, I don't know if people game. Most games, this button is the reload, but on this one, this is the reload. Yeah, they... they <laughs> They're seven foot tall. The Primarchs are like ten foot tall.
Yeah, Imperial Guardsmen are, are crazy. You have to be crazy to want to be, like, getting into the military in this universe. No, Brock's into hunting and barbecuing real cowboy stuff. You know what I mean? <laughs> Steal my Warhammer models. Okay. Gotta be on the lookout for those hidden servo skulls. Shouldn't have wasted ammo on those guys, right? The humans all alone. Where are they coming from? I just feel like they're gonna come by. In in my headphones, they're like surround sound. I can hear them behind me and stuff. Destroy them! Oh, we gotta run for cover. I don't want to waste picking up that ammo yet. Oh, watch out. Watch out! <laughs> Heck yeah, here we go. I was waiting by the ammo. There's a channel called Dr. Chris Rayner on YouTube. Ah, this guy. See, the Ultramarines are real by the book. Oh, here we're gonna have. This is why he's cool. Um, but his, uh, Anyway, that Dr. Chris Rayner, he has a whole video series on... He's a doctor, so he he's actually a really cool channel. So he um, he does stuff like uh, an anime, or like he'll do uh, Mortal Kombat fatalities and what they would do to you medically, right? So he did like the... So like Space Marines, in order to become a Space Marine, like very few humans can even survive the surgeries needed. You need to do like 19 different surgeries. And, uh, I have Von Doom, um, but, uh, he has a whole series on the different surgeries and what they would do and if that would be possible and all that stuff and how it would be possible. And here's actually a surgery we do that's similar, but not quite as crazy. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's a cool channel. <clears throat> Enemy sighted. I gotta go, uh, ammo up. Is 
This game has a great story. Actually, uh, no, Anarcho, I, so I don't know. I love the lore. The lore of 40k is why it's so cool. And I like learning more because I know enough to talk about it, but yeah. I don't usually play, uh, like, Call of Duty. Like, so I'm more of a Halo, Gears of War, Space Marine up local Imperial Guard um, type games. And I'm good at them. I was good at Halo when we would play online. But I just, for whatever reason, been av am, I'm pretty average at, like, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare. Dang, I never can keep those guys alive. Now we're in the trench. Yeah. I uh, have not played War Tanks. Blood for the Blood God. No, no, we're Ultramarines in this one. We don't say Blood for the Blood God. We say for the Emperor. You saved yourself. We thought you did. We would be, my lord, if not for the Lieutenant. Where will we find this Lieutenant? At the front lines. Follow the trench network to the Lieutenant's command. Lieutenant. Carry on, Guardsman. We rendezvous with Sedonus. Then we find this lieutenant. Smurf for the Smurf God. <laughs> so if you're if you're getting um if you're getting into Warhammer, Ultramarines are probably the first Space Marine you're gonna like encounter. Remarkable. Only in death does duty end. See, they're badass. That's what they were. They're they're saying the same thing we were saying earlier. It is not the rock. Millions of orcs and these humans are just like. Surviving Attention. against them. I'm in position at a broken monument near the guard lines. Workers must be met. Is yeah, Captain Titus is pretty cool. All right, rendezvous with the squad. Ah, the Death Watch, made up of many uh, chapter members. I yeah. Some orcs for you. The orcs have got that gun well defended. No mistake. A typical orc behavior would be. Sammy, Call of Duty lore does not them. even scrape not the surface of Warhammer 40k lore. There's a strategy behind it. Their leader is no fool. This day. <laughs> yes, King Hezekiah. Uh, there are Tyranids in Warhammer 40k. If the Horde hasn't turned However, this is Space Marine 1. It's Orcs. Space Marine 2 is all about Tyranids. Alright, reach the command bunker. That's the Orc logo. Through here. Through where? Through here? 
Where, 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 where am I supposed to be going? Oh, I have to get my... Sorry! Chainsword! All right! Yes! You guys! The chainsword is iconic. to show this because it's from you guys it's a chain sword from the mad dogs <laughs> this is not there's a guy on etsy or something that's making a working chain sword with noise and everything this is a this is a mad dogs chain chain sword the Mad Dogs are Charlie's uh, chat, fan club chat group. I don't know what you guys call yourselves. Mad Dogs for life. But this was a Christmas gift from the Mad Dogs. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> it stays here. I want to put it... I want to hang it on my... Uh... I want to hang it on my Warhammer wall that has an Arius in front of it, but. Yeah. I have to figure out a way to do it. It's going to have to be with fishing line, I think. I don't know. That is the one I used on Charlie. Did the Reforged YouTube make one? All right, come on, guys. So I don't know if you guys can tell the um, the the bolter makes like starts making a different noise when your ammo's getting low. Just shoulder tackle him. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Backup ain't. Target that squig. Oh no! The squigs! Oh jeez. Yeah, the chain sword versus the Arwen sword. Ah, a cult. Yeah, so I think that, like, Space Marine and Space Marine 2, when it comes out, like, it's a game people could, would like to play. But I think that's why they did so well. Like, Space Marine, the game, did well um, because it's a game that people can play even if they're not into Warhammer. Which I think is great because it gets more people into Warhammer. I thought I shot him right in the head. I'm hearing squigs. I'm hearing squigs. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, squig coming. Get him. 
Jeez. If those things get near us, it's no good. Squig is number one priority. when it gets fun. Coming. More? Come on, man. War boss guy. Oh, jeez. Can I lock on him? Move. <gasps> Get him. Great. Space Marines. Very satisfying. We were done for. Where is your commander, Guard? Inside, but the door is sealed. I believe they will let us through. Imperial Guard, we are ultramarines. Look at how blood covered I am now. Oh, now I got cleaned off. Space Marines. All right. <laughs> yeah. I decapitated that dude. The game the game is great. It's great fun. I mean, even if you're one of those and you're like Charlie, who doesn't like to pay attention to the story, you just like to play the game. She never listens to the dialogue or reads the little lore uh, journals and stuff you find. Like, even if you like to do that, this game is fun to play. The melee is so satisfying. That's why I'm so excited about Space Marine 2 coming, because did you see those hordes of Tyranids? We'll look at more footage before we before we end, you know, at the end, but... Working the second wreckage. Another horde of the Greenskins are headed here from the south. Uh, at ease, soldier. The line. This the lieutenant? Aye, lieutenant. Yep. Thank you. She's 
she's in, she loves Lord of the Rings, like deep into the lore of Lord of the Rings, but is not a lore hog like me. I want to learn all about the lore and the story and the, the expanded, like, books that are, like, Star Wars. I don't just watch the movies, man. There's the comics, and even though the, the books and stuff are, like, debatably not canon and all that, like, uh, uh, yeah. shooting down all our support vessels. That is why we are here. Leave the gun to us. Come with me then. I should warn you, my lords. We've got a slight orc problem down here. Yeah. It's like the New Zealand's claim to fame, Lord of the Rings. All right, we're following the lieutenant. Come on, guys. Oh, do I have to do it? Oh. Genetic scan complete. Adapters are starting. Access Fury unlocked. Okay, every time you damage an enemy, once the fury meter's full, I click them, and then, um, yeah. Fury modes drain the fury meter. Okay. What do you know of the titans on this planet? Only that our troops were sent to guard the Titan Invictus at Manufactura Ajacus. That was two weeks ago. Horus Heresy lore is the is my favorite part of 40k, but it's it's good all around. Behind the gun complex, it leads directly to the western gates of the Manufactorum. All right, we'll be there. Hello, everyone. Get me that field manual. Stuck on bloody forge world and not a single tech priest in sight. Not a single tech priest in sight. Uh, so Baby Ice, I actually was uh, looking up some lore videos um, about Ahsoka and how that Inquisitor at the end of episode two um, is possibly an homage to Starkiller because he was voiced by the guy that voiced Starkiller. Starkiller is a little bit OP to be in the universe currently, but, um, you know, that Inquisitor held his own against Ahsoka, who is pretty powerful uh, in her time, at least. I don't know if it's going to be Starkiller overtly, but I think it's it's an homage to Starkiller. At least. Unless, you know, we find out later that is Starkiller. Thrawn is coming, and the Thrawn book series, even though technically not canon anymore, is one of the best Star Wars book series. Whoa. then I love when he just shoulder tackles him oh my fury meters high that's what they were talking about right I don't want to go that way yet there's stuff back here I bet no dang usually if there's a little crevice to go through it means there's stuff Oh, that's cool from the future. Let's use this fury and see what happens. See my fury meter down there on the left? Ah, oh, 
around just smashing his head into the dirt. I was trying to do a combo. It's three three X's and a Y. Don't worry, guys. We're here. Use the turret. Can tear this off and walk around? <laughs> oh. The gun battery. The orcs took it almost as soon as we got here, nearly two weeks ago. Our unit was the only one to make landfall before they gained control. Now none of our ships can get past the gun. I think there's flamers later. Nothing back here. You guys coming or what? Charlie is all about the flamer. Go with Lieutenant Mira through the trenches toward the orc infested gun fortress. If you guys were around for the Dark Tide streams, you can see how it's sort of the same universe, right? This is a Forge world though, so. Tertium in Dark Tide is a uh access granted. Oh, this is a sniper rifle. Is a uh hive world. That's where the orcs breached the gun battery. We haven't been ah. able to make it inside the wall. There just aren't enough of us. Well, there's enough of us. This long on your own, yeah, he is nice to the Imperial Guard. Some of the some of the Space Marines look down on the Imperial Guard because they're inferior to them, you know. Oh, we played Bolt Gun. Bolt Gun's the sequel to this. I did not know that. Well, now I have to replay Bolt Gun. All right. Where are you at? Hiding? Uh oh, music's getting epic. Oh. You bastard! That took way too many shots. Oh, I'll have to check it out, Fractured Skull. Dead alive. Can I find it on like Prime or something? Or do I have to go somewhere specific?
Where are we going? This way? Yep, this way. Does it refill all the ammo? Lawnmower fight. <laughs> what we do in the shadows. Yeah, 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 yeah. What we do in the shadows is good. Have you watched the TV show? Because the movie's hilarious. The TV show's pretty good, too. Uh, Dead Alive is on Prime. Okay. Goblins! All right, lots of explodey things. Which way do we go? Aha! Me mate Gareth. Nothing I could do. The officers are all dead. The second lieutenant's taken over. It's up in Finnet. Wait. We're moving out. More soon. Once we get through these battles, we will use the breach caused by the rock. I don't want to waste my ammo on those guys. I almost sniped that guy. Well, there feels like they're coming around behind us, but it's not how it works. Grenade. Yeah, they're covering my back, it looks like, though. How do I get in there? We're almost there. See how their all their bases are like these like strewn together scraps of metal and stuff? Oh jeez. crazy for a minute. I had to I had to make a tactical retreat. Look at these cables. 
Um, Thomas, we did a show, an NXT show one time um, in the oldest circus venue in the world. And it was awesome. Captain, assault support pods were dropped in this area. Here's a ju jump pack. The venue was hot. The locker room sucked. It was small and hot, but the crowd was hot. And the venue was just a circus ring, which is where we put the ring, and then just a bowl, like an old-timey circus. See you later, Ty. Hey, Infinite! Thanks for the bits! Okay, hold A. While in flight, tap X to stun everyone. Ranged weapons are limited to bolt pistol and bolter while wearing a jump pack. Okay. Take to the high ground, Captain. We will deal with the order. Cool. Okay. I have infinite uh, fuel, or what? So I'm covering the high ground. Whoa! Oh! That's great. I got Fury. Oh my word. This guy, I didn't take care of this guy apparently. Did I, I bet I missed a whole bunch of stuff hidden all around up there, huh? It's all right. We're not really playing that for the, playing this for that. Uh, Darth, I don't care about the size as much as the energy. If the energy of the crowd is. If the energy of the crowd is, is, uh, strong, then. We, we feed off of the energy of the crowd, you know what I mean? So it's like... Yeah, like, it would have been- I think the Roman Colosseum would have been a sweet place to fight. Back in those days, you know? Why? He just wasn't moving. <laughs>
Reload. Did that grenade fall on the floor right? Well, I think wrestling was the first thing that humans did. I think humans did this before they did this. <sighs> Pancration. And, and the people that did Pancration thought the people that just did boxing were nuts. Oh, had to ditch the jump pack. Delivered the orcs right into the gun fortress. Bring the shooters. Yeah, we all do. We all do. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, basically true, right? Come on, guys. Did I lose you? Imagine just running in this big old suit. Did you guys see the... Have you guys seen the video of the Space Marine getting armored up? We'll watch that, too. More DECA! Alright, here we go. We entered the gun fortress. Uh-oh. It's about to get crazy in here. What's that big machine? This fortress is swarming with orcs. Yeah. This place will take days. Here we go. Guardsmen cannot survive that long. We find a way. To destroy the gun. All right, what's this? A vengeance launcher. This is a shotgun. A vengeance launcher. That sounds promising. The experimental Gaia Gaia pattern vengeance launcher is a specialized launcher for magnetized fusion charges to adhere to walls. Definitely not a shotgun. Definitely not a shotgun. All right. Come on, team. This looks crazy. A mine thrower. <laughs> Yeah, getting your braids done for a fight is not fun. It's painful and it takes a while. Yes, you are correct. But it's necessary. Oh. Wait. How do I make the mine go off? I didn't read it well enough. How do I make the mine go off? Uh, one of the bumpers. No, that's grenades. So if I'm here, then is it this? Oh, it is. Okay. Uh, back 
to Bolter. Get some ammo. Uh, I did. I, I didn't get into gaming, like, into gaming until the Nintendo, if I'm being honest. Look here, Captain. Melter charges. Put those in the right place, and this whole fortress will come down. We could put the charge on one of the gun shells. Leandros, you do the chapter proud. <laughs> All right. All right, so we have to destroy the... A little premature, I think. Okay. I haven't seen Red Dread. I'll, I'll, I'll have to check him out. I never got into Genesis, like, I... Um, I had a friend that had the Sega channel, but I couldn't- I could not get over the three- the ABC button rather than just the AB. That was, like, not... easy to compute. But, like, the Sega channel was awesome, and Mortal Kombat was cool, you know, so... It wasn't until, um, so I was Nintendo loyal. I had Nintendo, Super Nintendo, uh, and then once, um, Final Fantasy VII came out, I was all about PlayStation. What do we got going on in here? Where do we go? This way? No, this is the way we came. No, this way. Come on, guys. More squig. I think I got him with the first one, but it was just, you know, a little... I think, I think I switched from PlayStation to Xbox because of Halo and we were doing LAN parties at my friend's house. Somebody get that! Somebody get that! I don't have my... Ah, ah. Jeez. We should have put this on hard, really. 
actually no, we're we're fine because we were we're playing this to kill time until Starfield. And to get us up to speed so we can play um, Space Marine 2 when it comes out. Yo, Dreamcast was way ahead of its time. For real, though. Whoops. Whoa! We need to get the shell to load up. That was great. Guys, I can't explain to you the melee being so uh, satisfying. There. I will place the charge on that shell. Now to move the shell into place. What do I got to do? Yeah, I'll be streaming some Starfield with you guys, so... luck for this, Sir Dulles. We follow the shell up and make sure it reaches its destination. Berserk is great. All right, back to the lift. Go up to the loading chamber to make sure the gun fires the sabotage shell. We're going back to the lift, right, guys? What's up? Get in, get in. Yeah, it was a emotional day, so we've been using the stream to decompress. This is not a drill. Spawn, you should definitely upgrade to play Starfield. It looks great. All right, let's go. See you later, Chiquita. All right. Picked up ammo. Picked up ammo there. Thank you, unknown. All right, let's go. Oh. 
<laughs> this thing is fun. Oh, I do have my fury meter. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Dominic. It was brutal. It was rough, but yeah. Someone on this side. What? I'm missing all the servo skulls. Yeah, you're right. You're right, Paradox. Secondary lift. Oktoberfest! Have not tried blue fire. I kind of... Uh, so, like, here's the thing. I love craft beer. I love craft beer. You guys that have known me a while know that. I don't really like a lot of pumpkin beers. I kind of don't like pumpkin, pumpkin spice... I like pumpkin pie, and consequently, I like a pumpkin cream cold brew from Starbucks. Not the pumpkin spice, uh, but the pumpkin cream cold brew kind of tastes like a pumpkin pie. Marksman mode. Now allows you to enter marksman mode. Time slows down to enter fury mode and then left trigger for marksman mode. Um, okay. Basically, time slows down. Got it. We gotta make sure that thing goes. shell into that loader. I will cover you. Yeah, here we go. Get the shell into the loader. We gotta protect him. I feel like I'm gonna want this melt a thing. This. Incoming fire.
Oh my god, it's chaos! I died. Ugh. So dumb. Come on. Yeah, yeah, marksman mode. Got it. All right, let's go. We're going to beat this. Can't get him. Artillery shell moving into position. Let's go. Orcs have caught it out of sequence. Then we put it back. Leandros, get the shell into that loader. I will cover you. That's crazy. Homies are shooting me through the floor. Can't be all willy nilly. Oh, what's up? Goblins. an extreme close up what the what hit us wait what hit us for real oh was it the squigs give me a break yeah man I got a Yoder and I gotta tell you it's the best one of the best purchases I've ever made All right, we're going to beat this. Oh, I have to get the marksman mode. I have some I have some barbecue and uh videos on my YouTube channel. Let's go. There's our shell. Yep. The orcs have pulled it out of sequence. Then we put it back. Leandros, Primate get the shell into that loader. I will cover you.
let's go. Yeah, it was the squigs. Get him! why the camera switches like that suddenly. basically a cooking a cooking and martial arts channel all right all right all right all right oh god Yeah! The dry edge steak and poached lobster is one of the best things. I, I, I'm still going to redo the smash burger one because that's... brothers and I must secure any operational warlord class titans before the orcs can meet them. Good luck. All right, this is this is um We're going to go back to chatting now. So we can uh end on some cool stuff. That was a checkpoint, right? All right. Let's just make sure. Let's just make sure. Continue. Make sure we start in the same spot. Okay, good. We do. That would have been annoying. Even though we're probably playing Starfield next. Um, but yeah. The game's awesome, right? Warhammer's awesome. No, no. The turkey gets smoked every year. That's the way I do it. I brine it for 24 hours and then I smoke it. And it's delicious every year. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do my Smash Burger video, but I have to redo it. I tried to film it, and I tried doing like I have this like overhead camera contraption that hooked onto the like above the the counter. I just don't like how it looks, so I'm gonna go back to the person one. But it is kind of Gears of Wars ish. But way cooler. <laughs> um, yeah, what I want to do is I, I do want to... Um, I do want to... Like... Watch people's fights or grappling matches if they want me to. If you guys have that. Or if you guys have a grappling match or a fight you want me to watch. I'm down to do that. And give you my commentary. So if there's ever that, you can let uh, one of the mods know and send one of the mods the link. 
um, and then we can watch it. But um, yeah. Uh, Return of the Jedi is not my favorite. Uh, obviously. Who knows the correct answer to what's the best Star Wars movie? <laughs> Empire Strikes Back. Empire's the best one. Um. And, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> uh, but, actually, let's do this. First of all, I'm going to... We're going to watch uh, a space ring get armored up. It's pretty cool. Because it's like, um... It's like... So this was on Warhammer Plus. But it's kind of like, um... I don't know. Is it, it, this isn't... I want to do the original video. It kind of shows you how, uh, like, let me, let me, let me look. The, the, the armor is, um, like integrated into their biology. Does the Warhammer channel not have it up anymore? Hmm. Is it quiet? It's really quiet, isn't it? You don't really need to hear the noise, but it's cool. And there's all these priests and stuff because they're su especially ultramarines are super like religious about the emperor. I don't know why it's so quiet. I have everything turned up. I accept these burdens as the Imperium bleeds. I accept these burdens. No, no, this no isn't a game fear. trailer or anything. This is literally just Warhammer put this movie out. On Warhammer Plus, Plus, they have a lot of like animations, an shows, episodic, whatever. Um, but uh, they um, they just put this out as like a short skin. movie. This veil of machine muscle and false nerves. some of the other chapters um, but uh, it's all kind of the same process they're very they're very uh, spiritual I guess with their armor and everything about whether they're worshiping the Emperor or chaos that's a whole other thing And 
so here's the thing too, even though this is like 40,000 years in the future, everything looks like old tech because what happened is AI and high tech took over the galaxy and tried to wipe out humanity, so it's been banned. So this is all like old school tech the now in the future of because of that. Basically, I gave you the real nutshell version, but yeah. No, he's not a new soldier. He's just a space marine getting putting his armor on. Actuation. Awakening the armor spirit. Yes, from the future. And that's the funny thing, is that the Emperor Pride, united I mankind by my proving chapter. there is no religion, there is no god, there it's only science, and right? Join my and then when he sent he made the space marines to basically Enjoy. spread this message throughout the galaxy to unite everyone, because religion divides everyone. And the, the, the Space Marines and everyone ended up worshipping the Emperor. Like, he was like, no, but I'm not a god. And I'm like, that's exactly what a god would say. But yeah, so it's kind of a funny... That's cool, right? That's cool stuff. But yeah, Warhammer is like the uh, coolest thing. And just for just for shits and giggles, we'll do the Horus Heresy trailer because it's it's the most epic thing ever. The truth is. You're not the same person that you were back then. I guess that's true. Horus Heresy is my favorite part about Warhammer. Which is actually 30k, 10,000 years in the past of I the future. I never this. I never wanted to unleash my legions. Together we banished the ignorance of old night. But you betrayed me. You betrayed us all. You stole power from the gods and lied to your sons. Mankind has only one chance to prosper. If you will not seize it, then I will! Oops, sorry. Oh, my bad. So let it be more. From the skies of terror to the galactic rim. I can rim. check it out, Paradox. What's it called? The Red Dread? What what uh what are they? What are the three in order? Yeah, so the Horus Heresy, basically the the so there's <laughs> there's twenty legions, eighteen legions. There's twenty legions, half of them Horus decided to turn on the Emperor, he got corrupted by chaos. There's so much lore I'm skipping over, and the, the story is so much more epic than this. But, basically, he uh, divided the 20 Hello legions, there. and there was a civil war called the Horus Heresy. 
But yeah. Nice. Walking Dread, Dreadfall 2, and the Red Dreads. Walking Dread. Okay. We're going to check these out. Under two minutes each. I'm pretty sure. Uh oh. Godless Southlanders, do you dare trespass on my domain? Oh! No! Welcome! Welcome, Raiders. We are uh, watching uh, Walking Dread. This looks like some uh, Von Doom type stuff that he would like. Big raid! Big raid! We're just watching some uh, cool stuff, getting ready for the spacey type of um, Starfield coming out. Welcome! Don't worry, we're chatting. We're done. We've been we've been gaming for a couple hours, so we're in chat mode. So, here's the thing: we're watching some uh, cool movies and trailers and animations and stuff right now. But if you have like grappling matches or fights or something you want me to watch, you can uh, tell me about them, and we'll watch them with some commentary. Epic. I see why you uh, asked about me seeing these. Walking Dread, and then, and then, and then what's the what's the next one? Walking Dread. Let me scroll up in the chat and see what it was. Walking Dread, Dreadfall Two, and Red Dread. Dreadfall Two. Dark Massacre, it says. I don't like doing wrestling matches as much because, um, I don't like to talk too much about my job too in-depth and it gets it to the meeting that way. So fights and grappling matches. Did you guys ever see an old school movie called Robot Jocks? It's like from the early 90s, I want to say. We'll watch the, we'll find the trailer. sarcophagus. No, no. The red <coughs> dread. Here we go. I didn't know that, Von Doom. Man, the Warhammer universe is so terrible and cool. <laughs>
so good. Guys, it's cool, right? We'll do this real quick. Holy smokes. This... Oh, this was so good! When I was a kid, man, I loved this movie. Crash and burn. It's a new age of combat. Human beings. Genetically engineered to be the best fighters in history. Two champions. It isn't over until someone wins. I gotta force Charlie to watch this. At war with each other. Achilles! Achilles. I have already killed you. Two invincible men. Let's yeah, robot jocks. Here now. The ultimate killing machines. I'm gonna get in this thing, and I'm, I'm gonna, gonna kick, kick your, your ass! I still remember! jocks we should do a watch along <laughs> man that brings back some good memories <laughs> and robot wars real steel eh, maybe i just have some nostalgia yeah yeah it, it is kind of gundam evangelion <laughs> I heard I can't remember I can't remember if it's this movie I might be wrong but I'm pretty sure I heard or read somewhere that they ran out of money so the ending they had to do like really cheaply if you guys remember the end and they fly up into space and stuff yeah but it's been a Warhammer night because uh, we're gonna be playing Starfield we're gonna discover the universe together it's a single player game. I'm sure uh, Duke's going to be playing it, but she'll be way further ahead because she gets to stream every day. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I'll probably play a lot of the game not on stream since I only get to stream once or twice a week. But, but, uh, look for me to maybe be streaming longer or on weird days just so that I can get an excuse to play more. So, yeah. I had to I had to place a, a short game that wasn't gonna be too like draw us in too much like I, I thought about doing cyberpunk because the DLC is coming out but uh, it it's too involved you know what I mean and with Starfield coming out probably next week since I got the early access um, I didn't want to get involved in that story and then be stuck and then have to start over it, there was no point so that's why we did Warhammer that's why we did Space Marine. On the off chance that I don't have access to it next week, we'll just do Space Marine again from where we left off. I'm, I won't play Space Marine. I've played that game so many times, so I don't need to play that again. Um, but, yeah. I have to do some research and figure out how to get Diablo deleted off my Steam Deck because it takes up so much room. Um, but, yeah, that's my projects. I haven't even, you know, Kinslayer, I haven't gone back to Tears of the Kingdom yet. Actually, what I, another pro, another gaming project would be to, to probably finish that for sure. And I, ha, I, I never beat Jedi Survivor yet either. But you guys remember, I think the last time I was playing Jedi Survivor, I was at that level. I don't even know what it's called, but I was at a level where it would keep crashing. You remember? And it would start, I couldn't even get back to the save point in time. Um, so I kept having to start that puzzle over. So hopefully they patched that. I guess I could download it and see. But uh, regardless, Starfield is the next thing. If if it's not next week, we'll be doing Warhammer, and then Starfield's going to be the next 
the next thing. Yeah. Um. It's supposed to come out the 6th, but I got the deluxe edition so you get five five days, up to five days early access and there was an asterisk and it was like, maybe not five days. So, five days would be next Friday. Um, otherwise, if not, like I said, we'll play Warhammer and then you'll see me on here playing... Um, uh, Warhammer again. Let's see who we got. Let's see what's going on here. So remember, guys, if you have some uh, jujitsu grappling stuff you want me to see for the end of streams, or if you have fights that you're interested that you saw, or like a <laughs> World Star <laughs> fight or something, um, then uh, you know, let me know. Close. Oh no. Bye. But, but uh, yeah. Other than that, uh, Thomas grounded, I mean, the up, up, down, down channel. So go to the up, up, down, down YouTube and follow them. And you'll see a lot of BRE content. We do content for them. They put it out, not necessarily on a regular schedule, but they put it out often. Um, and then, yeah, follow all the BRE. I'm on here. Charlie's on here. Uh, uh, Mia's on here. Um, and then Duke streams every day on YouTube. She's OK Gamer on YouTube. And uh, follow all of us. And then follow all my socials. QOS Basler, Instagram, Twitter. Um, here. Follow my YouTube if you want to learn grapply stuff. But yeah. Usually, Carter, I'm here Fridays after uh, SmackDown. Sometimes on Saturdays if I have the time, depending on when I leave for work Sundays or if I'm home. A lot of times I'm not here on weekends, but every now and then we do a random like a Wednesday middle of the week stream. So you just got to follow on the socials. Um, I put a lot of stuff on my story. I'm allowed to work out again, so it'll be back to normal story posting. Uh, wait, don't anyone leave the star of the stream. Puppy, come here. Hey, come here. This is the star of the stream. <laughs> yes. Can I have a kiss? Thank you. Her tail's wagging. You can't really see. Oh, that's too early. I have to do the outro. Yeah. Quit rushing me. <laughs> but uh, make sure you give a follow and follow me on the socials. You know what I'm streaming next. We're going to have a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to Starfield. Uh, and I always love... Uh, Warhammer chats. And uh, remember, block homeboy if you see him. Uh, and if I wasn't me, I'd be just like you. And I'd want to make out with me too. <laughs> if you want to have a good night. <laughs> no, wait. If you want everyone to have a good night. <laughs> say I will. <laughs> okay. <laughs> dramatic <laughs> all right have a good night guys this is where an outro screen will go hopefully soon <laughs>